Today, on December the 5th, 2014, in Colo, we're delighted to launch our new discussion paper on online volunteering. This paper follows research we've done throughout this year, looking at new modes and models of international volunteering, and also data from volunteer sending agencies on their volunteering programs in 2013. It allows us in Colo to have an increased focus on inclusivity in volunteering, as online volunteering allows a volunteer to volunteer from any place at a time that suits them to contribute to international development. The volunteer uses the internet and a device such as a computer, laptop or smartphone to complete their volunteering tasks or projects, which benefits the volunteer sending agency and the host community. I'm Jane Cravens and I was here today to talk about virtual volunteering, specifically to Irish volunteer sending organizations and to help them see how they might increase their involvement of online volunteers. So virtual volunteering simply means using the internet and a network device to support and engage with volunteers, even if those volunteers primarily come on site. Volunteers think of themselves as volunteers. They don't think of themselves as, I'm an online volunteer, I'm a remote volunteer, I'm an on-site volunteer. They think of themselves as volunteers when people ask me what are all the things that online volunteers can do, I can't answer that. What are all the things that volunteers can do? Could you answer that? Of course not. And it's similar with online volunteers. I'm, I'm amazed at the things that people come up with to work with volunteers. Probably the most popular is translating documents. But there's designing graphics, providing legal advice or other professional advice, tutoring or mentoring students, designing a publication, um, editing or writing proposals. Online volunteers might work as a team. They might work individually. Um, and their roles and commitments can change over the course of time. You have volunteers that might do, come for one time, just show up, clean up the beach. You might have volunteers that come and tutor a child. And that could be the same person, that could be different people. One year it could be this person and the next year they change roles. What I'm pointing out is that this is true of all volunteering, not just virtual volunteering. Volunteering online is not limited by visas, by travel, by costs, by safety or security issues. And therefore it allows more people to participate in international volunteering for development and it allows volunteers to overcome barriers such as mobility and disability to take part in international volunteering initiatives. One of the things I like about non-traditional volunteering, including virtual volunteering, is it allows you to involve people you never could have otherwise. Perhaps I have children and I can never go to Africa, but I care deeply about Africa. And you come up with a way that I can support a volunteer that's in Africa. I can do research on HIV, I can find um, materials by other agencies focused on young people and help you adapt those for your situation. It creates um, a greater number of people participating in your work. And I know that when I was at UNV, that was the big focus of online volunteering. There was no one saying, you know what we really need? We really need some online volunteers. No one was saying that. But what we found was that people wanted to be involved in the work of the UN, but they didn't have two years to give up and go be a UN volunteer. And they didn't have the expertise to work for the United Nations, but they wanted to be involved in some way. And that was why Sharon Kapling Alakaja, the head of UNV at the time, was such an advocate for virtual volunteering. She wanted anyone who wanted to be involved in the work at the UN to get to be involved in the work of the UN. So there are advantages to doing it. People like it. Um, and quite honestly, it's expected now. If you don't involve online volunteers and you're a volunteer involving organization, people think, what's wrong with them? Why aren't they involving online volunteers? That's suspicious. So it's becoming an expectation. You can read more about this paper online on our website at colove.org or you can contact our office for copies of the paper.